a graduate who's producing their CV uh, should think carefully about the company that they're going to apply to. Uh, can candidates don't realise that there are a huge number of CVs which have to be read and theirs needs to stand out. I guess a relevant qualification or relevant academic content in the course. Um, we're looking for a good academic record. Uh, related work experience is also very valuable. A CV really needs to be succinct, it, it needs to be clear, it needs to be not generic because it's very easy to print off a load of CVs and just send them in. Um, a CV really needs to be individual um, with no waffle and, uh, and just really in a page or two just tell that person's story. So the first thing to do is look at the uh, application either on the website or any job ads. Uh, most employers give clues as to the type of candidate they're looking for and try and taper your introductory letter to your CV with some of those points. Uh, you can beef those points up through the content of your CV which in my view should be no more than two pages long. Really the CV is an, is a, an, an appetizer for the employer to want to get to know you better at an interview stage. I'd say mistakes um, that would be frequent would be misspellings um, and certainly if a CV is too long um, the reader would generally lose interest um, and, and also if the, the fact that if the CV doesn't tell that person's story, if it looks too generic, if it looks like it could be for any job, um, that's always off-putting and it's a big mistake.